What's happening, everybody? What's going on? All right. Good evening, Jose. What's happening? Dennis. Snorlord. Rooster Run Express. Hey, Snorlord, how's the truck going, man? How, how's that uh, AP working out for you? <clears throat> so, we... Uh, We're sitting here. It's been a while, right? We haven't done a live feed in a while. Holiday, all that good stuff. Uh, been really busy. Uh, got some uh, contractors wanting to sign on, doing that stuff. BB Trucking. What's up, Trucking Scott? Cruise Road. Is that Gray? Ralph, what's up? I think that'd be light bright up there. What's up? What's up, James? I was watching a live feed earlier of you. I think you had a red. You had the regular and the red and all that good stuff going on. Are you still live? I, if you are, I'll jump off here. Don't want to step on your live feed. <clears throat> because if you got both Knob Creeks out, whew, unless you're saving those for the weekend, you might be. You might have been saving them. I think you're saving them. Eddie, what's up? Just put my truck in the shop. Oh, that sucks. What's up, Tommy? Robert, what's up, Robert? Robert, you know, the dean. The dean. Maybe... Uh, I see some loads you could have taken uh, that was like seventeen fifty maybe over the weekend. I know that's not the money you want to make. I know you want to make like seven thousand, um, but they were really good paying loads. The dean, yeah, they were short, good paying short stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll get you in there. Uh, Tommy Z, JWR, huh, Philip, what's up, Stu Man Chew? The big a old trucker, what's going on? Too much drama here. I'm out. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Uh, glad I could help you out there uh, anytime. I like that. That's kind of funny, man. He just jumps in and says that. You know, he's he's a cool dude. He's all right. What we got going on here, Jeff? I think Roscoe's willing to send you some single barrel knob creek. But, you know, have him send it. What's up, Robert? He's laughing. Uh, GC, uh, what's going on? All right, so, you know, looking at the spot market this week, uh, I have been looking at it, been really busy. Uh, where's the drama? I don't know, Jamie. Uh, other channels, maybe. Uh, it's not doom and gloom here. There's a lot of good money out there right now in the spot market. Uh, you just got to be, one, willing to go get it. Two, you know, trucking is got some luck into it. Uh, Snowlord had bad luck. If Snowlord had good luck when the broker called and said, hey, you know, your contractor does a great job for us. Um, we want to give him double the rate. Double the rate. Um, you know, so he couldn't get it because his truck's in the shop. But he would have got double the rate, which was a really good load then. <clears throat> It would put it uh, over three dollars a mile for such a short run, which is like five hundred miles, been fifteen hundred bucks uh, for you know a one day shorty. Uh, not bad, right? Not bad. Well, here's the screen here. Uh, this is the van density map. As you can see, we have yellow for Michigan, all the green in here. Or van and yellow. So the Midwest is really good. The West is even popping for van. The West is even popping. Uh, other truck of James Best, no drama here. Believe that. Uh, that I won't even acknowledge it. Um, you know. Hold on, you might learn something. Well, they might. I mean, you know, everybody's complaining, but. You know, there's some good rates. Our guys are getting some good rates. Uh, I've been seeing the good rates. I've been sending loads out to uh, drivers. Uh, just like with uh, Snowlord. Hey, if you do good service, James knows. He was here. You do good service, brokers call us all day long. Offers freight. And a lot of times they offer us at good prices. Oh, and Al, you know, poor Al. Hey, let, let's all say a prayer for Al. Al needs a uh, prayer. Uh, and it's funny, right? Because we've all been there. Al goes to a dock. I'll get that. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, 
Jerome Jones. I'll, I'll put up the flat bet. Uh, Al goes to the dock, right? And they're loading his trailer. And uh, we'll get this on flatbed. And Al notices there's a hole in the roof. And they say, well, we didn't do that. Oh, yes, you did do that. And I didn't bring it here with that. And you wouldn't have loaded this trailer all the way up here like it is if there was a hole in the roof. Well, luckily, I guess they had cameras on the outside of the building or something. And somebody went and checked the cameras. And they had to eat crow because, you know, they seen the forklift come up through the roof. Uh, there you go. So, Jeff, did the show seated at the piano with a glass of scotch? That would be dramatic. Jimmy Joe, that would be dramatic. So there was a hole roof. So it's okay. We'll patch it real quick and get on his way. And then, you know, when he gets there and stuff, you know, they'll pay for the repair. So, that's one good thing. So Al had that going on, and then now he has a blow tire. And that's not the only thing. So, yeah, I had a rough week, too, because I had had a trailer that needed all new brakes. That was like 1400 bucks, right? Because you got not brakes. It had to have drums, too. It's going to have to have tires. That's another couple thousand bucks. Because we'll get it on the JB Hunt tire discount. They got a really good tire discount. So if all the contractors over here didn't know, if you go into your little app on the JB Hunt, uh, we have really high perks in there. Click on the perks button and you can sign yourself up for the tire discount and you can see what the tires are going to uh, be. They're Goodyear. So if you go to a Goodyear and you show them your discount on the phone, they will charge you that right there at the register, that discounted price and you pay that price. So really good tire discounts with the JB Hunt national discount. So if you need tires, uh, Al, if you need a trailer tire, I mean, you can get brand new trailer tires for about, you know, 300 bucks somewhere, three, 325 on the JB Hunt app. Uh, just go on JB Hunt app, Al, sign up real quick, whatever, you know, might be, might be too late for you, but you'll have it for next time. Dennis says, uh, I feel people would be more successful if they wake up and realize that the broker is their customer. Obviously, the folks that watch this channel already know that. Right, Dennis. Here's the thing. The broker is your customer. Right? So when you go in to that shipper, you're representing two people. You're representing yourself and you're representing that broker. And then the same thing when you get to the receiver. The shipper is not your customer and that receiver is not your customer. Your customer is the broker. Now, if you have dedicated freight, then... The shipper and receiver is your customer uh, because you're dealing directly with them. Yeah, Al, uh, check that out uh, for future reference, Al. Um, well, 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 we we're just talking about you. Well, our ears are burning. Well, that's all right, Pamela B. You, you and other over tax in Minnesota can talk about me all you want. There's a lot of people that talk about me. Here, I'll get you full screen. Look, full screen. There's a lot of people that talk about me, but that's okay. Look, got, oh, wrong side, right here. Thunder funding, bam, lightning bolt. The best factoring company in this country. You can ask anybody that uses them. Just ask Big Face Trucker. They call him up, ask him how he's doing, all that good stuff. Uh, they pay you really fast, right, OTJB? That's if OTJB actually, you know, drives a truck. Well, I don't know if he drives a truck anymore, uh, but... You know, he, he's getting there. And they'll, they'll, they'll let any uh, contractor call them up and ask them stuff, right? Uh, let's get back to this. Boom. This is the flatbed. Uh, See, so it's pretty good. Flatbed's not bad. I mean, it's getting a whole lot better because this was a lot of red there. there. Now look at all the green. And, it, you know, since we're here, we might as well give the reefer people something to to uh, smoke on here. Where's the reefer at? Right there's the reefer. All right, so here's the reefer, guys. You know, they got some red down in here um, for Northern Express. You know, check it out. You got some red, but he goes from here down to Florida and back, so he's all right. Uh, you know, red here, but the Midwest or the West, uh, Northwest states are looking really great. Uh, Texas looking good. South's looking good. So reefer's not looking too bad. 
you know, it's a lot better. So, and this is at night. And I just thought I'd jump in here. Uh, but this really wasn't a, a, sh a show for the rates because I'm going to be busy tomorrow too. And I probably won't be on here doing the rates until next week. Uh, lots of things going on. And then, you know, I'm getting ready for another contractor to come on and, and we're doing all that good stuff. So that's what's going on there. If, uh, you know, people want to enjoy the, the show here, they want to join in. Um, of course, you can always just click on this and I can add you into the stream and, you know, you can talk. You'll be seen too. So, all right. So let's uh, go into recent searches here. And let's just look at one of these that has any times on it. Greensboro, North Carolina, Columbus, Ohio. Here, let's just start the search out here. We could get James out of the house. I won't say where he lives, but I'll, I'll just put like a Morris, Illinois in there. I'll put a Morris, Illinois in there. Um, anywhere 150 miles van, 611 loads. We might get him out of the house, folks. Uh, Mr. Best can get a job being quality control person. Or not, he would love that job. That would be his dream job right there, Dennis. He might do it for free. All right, so here's some shorties. Now look at this load. Wilmington, Illinois, May 28th, Thursday, chop tank. Where were you at on this? Where were you at on this? He knows who I'm talking about. He knows. Hey, all the unassigned drive time for his all shop. It ain't me. Okay. I think you're running around, Snow Lord. Look at that. 304 a mile. Now, you tell me rates are bad. You tell me they're no good. It's right there. Going to Hinkley, Ohio. 369 miles, paying 1120. Chop tank today. Right? It's not there no more, but, you know, it was today. If you look at the rate check, there it is. 89 cents above at 214. All right. We got 296, Gary, Indiana. Here's June 1st. They're already starting next week. 279 a mile, 279 a mile. Um, over to Illinois, 800, 1100, 16, 16, 1900, New York, 2300 in New York, um, Madison, Wisconsin. And we keep on going down. Going down to Georgia, 1500 bucks, 212 a mile. Big Tex trucking. Hey, hey, hey. Big Tex, I got something to show you. I got something to show you, Big Tex. Next live feed. I got something to show you. I have something. It's about it's about like this, about like this, rectangular. Rectangular. And it's got a word on it. It's got a word on it. Got a word on it. I'll show you what I have. You know, it still looks brand new because I never put it on a vehicle. Kept it hanging. It's hanging on the wall. Big text. Big text trucking. Uh, look at What's up, Clyde? What's up, Clyde? Look at I know you. <laughs> I mean, big text would tell everybody what's in there. What's up, Anthony? What's up, Anthony Bressler? He could tell you what it is, but it's a funny story, right? It's a funny story. Uh, big text. Click on the link if you want to tell a story. But you probably get beat up about it. Seven hundred bucks to Iowa. See a lot of good freight. I mean, we're way down here before we even get below two dollars. Wisconsin to Vermont, twenty three hundred two hundred two. Um, so you know, if you look at the rate check, what it was two weeks ago. I mean, the rates are back up. Snowy's personal convenience. I heard main tour. Well, that's cool. That is cool. Little Viking coach. All right, so we're gonna search this out. And we're going to go to Columbus, Ohio, and then we're going to go over to the East Coast, and then we're going to go down south real quick. And then, you know, and if anybody wants to click in and, and talk, we'll talk about anything. Uh, had a lot of guys that just bought trucks, right? Talked to some guys about, uh, you know, they have Schneider Finance trucks, and, and they got out, and they're getting some uh, internationals, saving lots of money. Uh, then there's another driver starting. He just bought a brand new, he just bought a truck and trailer coming over. 
Rich, the Italian stallion rapper. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? I don't know. I've been here. I've been working for you. See, I can't do these shows because Rich has me working very hard for him. Anthony Brest says, what's up? Other trucker James Best. Oh, what's going on here? Thanks for dinner, Facebook user. Uh, it doesn't tell me who's on the Facebooky, so I will have to. I would have to go in here and look. Right, I'm going to open it up. If I can even find Facebook on here, I don't even know where it's at on this phone. This is the dual phone. This is the dually. Uh, it's a great phone. Is it not, other trucker, James Best? Is it not a really, really good phone? Uh, let's see, Lenny Schaefer's talking. Maybe it was Lenny. No, it was Jackie. Ken and Jackie. Yeah, no, no problem for dinner. You guys chipped in, man. That was a good dinner. You know, we had we had a really good dinner. Um, so that was good. Let me see what's wrong with this. Uh, let me play this thing. Let me see what it's looking like on Facebook. Rob Thomas, what's going on? He just did you really, Rob? Awesome. I won't say that. Tommy, what's up? Barry Jones, what's going on? Uh, Nick Nack Brian, Sean, what's happening? Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, it is the best. It's, it's a great phone. I mean, yet three or four apps run at the same time. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Especially if you, you know, you got trucking office on one side, got the rate cons on the other side, and, and you're melting, or you have EFS on one side doing payroll, and, and it just all works seamlessly together. Uh, really good phone. I did check my text on the phone. You want me to say it? Big text? Can I reveal it? Can I reveal it, big text? Can we? The big reveal? I, why don't you join in, Big Tex? We, we can congratulate you right on the air here. Click on this link. Click on that link right there, Big Tex, and we'll put you right on here. And uh, we'll be talking to Big Tex Trucking. All right, so Columbus, Ohio, anywhere, 535. Let's, let's get to it. That's what people want to see. They want to see money. 714 a mile, 400 bucks. 300, 400, 900, 291 a mile, Ohio to West Virginia. That's tomorrow, folks. Sureway Transportation. Um, that's way above. That's like a dollar one. That's double. You know, that's way above. Well, not quite double, but, you know, buck one. <clears throat> so, 500 bucks, 2,100 to Massachusetts from Ohio, 229, 228. Look at this stuff for next week. Already paying 228, um, 219 to Oklahoma. And so forth and so forth. So that's look good. Snowlord dropping calls. Yes, John Armstrong, we got an evening show. Show you the money. What's up, Louis Antonio? What's happening? So still great loads right around in right around Ohio and stuff like 220, 1400. And you know, it, it's just really good stuff. So if anybody tells you it's cheap freight out there. Rates suck. No, they don't. They don't. All right. So let's go to uh, let's go to the East Coast. Stallion, Stallion area. 433. Here we go. Uh, let's get off of this power only. Take that off there. All right, top tank, New Jersey, Connecticut. Look at this. Look at this. You better get on this Italian stallion. You better call them right now. This is your buddies. Chop tank, 930 a mile, 100 mile run, 930 bucks for Monday. For Monday, folks, it's not even Friday yet. It's not even Friday yet. Big techs are coming in. Big techs coming are coming in, in. We have big techs. You're in, baby. I'm in, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
No, I'm just telling you, man. You're in. Pay that damn truck off. He paid his truck off, folks. Big tax, free and clear. Forty-two thousand dollars. Here, let, let me get you on the big screen. Let let put oh, you up there. Ugly than a motherfucker. Let me ask you a question, Big Tex. Show me that PS2 controller that you can't win in football anymore. Show me that PS2 controller. I ain't watching it today. No, no, show me the controller. I know he's got a PS2 in there, folks. Or a PS4. Uh, he's got a PlayStation 4, right? No, man, you know I'm missing no PlayStation. You got Xbox? Yeah, I can't. Well, the Xbox right there. See, he got the Xbox. I got to have it, man. Got to have the Xbox. So I have this item. It's rectangular. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, I can guess what it is. I'm going to get my butt kicked over. It's out in the shop. It hangs a, It hangs above my uh, toolbox. I can go get it. Let me show it to you. I'm going to get it hit on my head. <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob says, Big Tech says, uh, what are you doing? Who's that for? Who was that for? She said, this ain't for you. That's for Jeff. I said, what the hell? How did the hell Jeff get something? I didn't get another. You go on vacation, and I get a present. You get a present. All I got the money to do, I had to pull out the money to buy it, though. Hey, I, hey, I appreciate it. I bet and you. it still looks brand new. Yeah, I bet you do. It does. Yeah, I bet you do, man. It's all polished up. Yeah. Got yeah. Got a little wax on it. Probably dusty as hell in on the, in the garage on water. No, 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 no. It gets wiped off, turtle wax, everything. Yeah, I bet. Shined up. Yeah. You see, you see what I'm cooking in here? Oh man, what's that? A ninja pot? Oh, that one of my air fryers, man. Oh, you're air frying. Looking at Steve too much, man. Big Steve got me into this stuff, cooking in the truck. Oh, okay. Steve has something to say. He says about time you went back to work. <laughs> hey, see that? I enjoy that one month off, man. I was hustling money though. I was polishing wheels to pay this truck off. Polishing wheels to pay the truck. <laughs> I was at the truck stop with on my bicycle. Other trucker James Best thinks that's a coffee pot you're cooking in. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of them buns. That's what it looked like. Yeah, it's a bun. <laughs> no, I'm cooking some fries up in there. That ain't no that's not that's not no coffee pot. I got one though. Yeah, he's got one. Jane best time I look like a coffee pot. No, I got a Kerrick in here, man. Right there. No, oh, there you go, Kerrick. Yeah, I got the Kerrick up there. Oh, old rich Italian stallion rapper says congratulations. Man, that was a lot of money, man. But I, I just said I, I just had to go here and eat it up. So does Dennis. I appreciate it, Dennis. Hey, that was a hard. Hey, it was hard to pay that forty-two thousand dollars, Jeff. I had to yeah. close my eyes and hit the button. Well, you gave up that money. I gave it up. For, what was it? I, I I sent it to you. I think it was forty-one six six two. Well, you didn't send me the forty-one six six two. I had to spin it. I just sent you the picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have bought some stock with it. I, hey man, I had to pay this truck off, man. I don't have to worry about it. That's the last thing I had to worry about. I paid the truck and I paid the trailer off. Hey, man, your question. Are you are you listening to Sirius Radio? Yep. Good. I bought some stock today. <laughs> On what? Sirius. Oh shit. Yeah, so I'm glad you're a subscriber. Oh yeah. I've been having that since nineteen seventy two. He says uh James Best says uh W nine. Ah, uh, you ain't got no W nine. No, I got, I got a twenty seventeen Western Star. He's got a Western Star. James, get it right. He said wood cabiners. Wood cabiners. <laughs> yeah. I think he's been tipping the Knob Creek already. Well, I tore out the cabin. I put my own cabinet there because I put a custom refrigerator in there and everything. Yeah, he's got the big stuff in there, James. He don't mess around. Oh yeah, man. Got everything in there. Look at that. <laughs> chicken wings. What is that? That's chicken wings, man. I got direct TV right there. Yeah. And show your Xbox. Yeah, behind the TV. 
right there with the white button on it. See, if you guys don't know, if you ever if you ever get on Xbox Live and you want to play some Madden, you might come across Big Tex and he's gonna put the stomping on you. Except if you're about nine or ten years old and he'll get whooped. <laughs> The young kids, they can press the buttons faster. Now, I quit playing it for a while, man. I don't know why I just quit playing it for a while. Kept getting beat up on it, Jeff. Oh, well, look. they're make, Dennis is making fun of me. He says, I'm jealous because Big Tex has a PS4, which is actually an Xbox. He's got an Xbox. But when I started trucking, I had an Atari 2600 in my truck. <laughs> hey, I got one of those, too. All right, yeah. I got Atari 2600. I got the Sega CD. I, I got the uh, regular Sega. I got uh, Intellivision. Remember Intellivision? Yep. These little hockey players are like little little dots on the screen. I ain't played the Xbox so long, man. I don't know if it's still hooked up anymore. Oh, Tecmo Bowl. Day Club, Day Cab Slim says he used to play Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo Super Bowl. <laughs> you, you remember that? Remember that football game? You'd have it in your hand, and it'd be little red dots going across the screen. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we know. were high tech back then. Oh, Rich used to play pong. Oh yeah, on a Atari twenty, that ping pong game. Yeah. Back and forth. Oh, oh Snower comes in with a Commodore 6400 because he was from the rich part of town. Yeah, I ain't had that. Yeah. I had the old ping pong. I remember yeah, that. He, he got the old he got the old Commodore. See? Did you ever have an Amiga? Amiga? What's that? Yeah, Amiga 2000. It was a Commodore machine. Then they, they came out with the Amiga computer. It was a, it was a computer. No, I never had that. I never even heard of that. Did you ever have a Trash 80? No. Radio Shack? You, the very first computer Radio Shack came out with was just a keyboard, and it had a cassette player to play games, and it was all words. Yeah, cassette player. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's an old-ass game. Coming yeah. Out. Yeah, it'd be a game to see words that say you're coming up to a to a cave. Do you go? You know, you, you go into a cave. Do you go east, west, north, or south? You had to push one of the buttons. Well, technology come a long way. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you're watching yourself. Yeah, man, I'm ugly as hell. Well, you, you got hey. this Nike on. You, you know, you got the paid off semi truck sitting right there. Yeah. The Western store, baby. You don't know nothing about that. And you look good. The COVID. The COVID released you pretty good. I look better than that on that hospital bed. <laughs> Damn sure. <laughs> yeah, you were going, oh, help me, people. Yeah, that was bad, man. I ain't no problem going to win or lose on that one. Uh, Eddie's playing plumber in the house. Plumber? He's not getting paid like a plumber. I guarantee you that. <laughs> If he's doing it himself, what's he got going on? Shit, I'm over here sitting over at the petrol over here in Sweetport. What? Yeah, ran out of aisle with that petrol. Well, come on over, man. I'll barbecue us up some ribs and stuff. I need to come on up to Michigan, man. Get that rain from up there. You can come see my Godfather license plate. <laughs> I don't want to see that damn thing. <laughs> that caused a lot of problems in the house. Yeah, I should go get it. Put it yeah. right here. You leave my wife in the truck with me. She ain't in the truck with me today. <laughs> you got a kick out of that one. She just she smacked you right now. Yeah, she said, you better leave Jeff alone. Quit messing with Jeff. <laughs> hey, everybody messing with me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're right. Hey, but they can't beat you, man. They can't beat you. Look, look at this right here. That See, I don't see the name. It just says Facebook user, but I bet you that's Jackie and Ken says, uh, I say the same thing. We're there. All, I've been there all week. You know, they come over. We had barbecued ribs. I smoked some ribs. I smoked three racks of ribs. Had some burgers, some uh, hot dogs, all that stuff. We had all the fixings. Damn, man. I need to come up there, man. Yeah. I'm going to 
give me a load. I'm, I'm waiting till it quit raining up there. I got to keep my truck clean, man. Pay it off. Now I can keep it clean now. I can afford to keep it clean. You want to hear a good joke? Go ahead. What you got? Hey, Cab Slim says, this is what he says. I thought Kevin Ruther Rutherford was the godfather. He th Kevin Rutherford, thank you, dude. I listen to him every, every day. He thank you, yes. He thinks he is. <laughs> yeah, he thank you, yes, man. You know, I learned so I learned a couple of things from him. I get a little a couple of things off of him. Some some stuff I don't agree with him. See, now Jason, ColecoVision and Atari. He likes ColecoVision. ColecoVision. I never heard of that game. Oh yeah, man. They used to have these little pads and you used to have to stick little cards in them. You know, when you play the games? Well, ColecoVision. Yeah, I never even heard of that. ColecoVision. Yeah, you never heard of ColecoVision? Oh, never heard of it, man. Rob, come on, man. I don't Here, think I'm, it's mad. Centipede, Ga galaxy. Jow. Here, we'll get some. Uh, we'll get some images. All right, let me share the screen. We'll put the screen up. See, there's Cleco Vision. See it. Right there. They still got the, they still got pictures of it. Yeah, you see the control pads, and used to put little things over the uh, you know all these numbers and stuff when you play the games. That's an old ass game. Yeah, that's an old game, man. Look at that. Look at this garbage. I'm they even gave you a little steering wheel, you know. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they come a long way, huh? Oh yeah. Click O Vision. Click O Vision. <laughs> Only has Atari. <laughs> yeah, here's Atari. Ping pong. That's the only thing mama don't get me. There's the Intellivision right there. And there's the Atari. Remember the man. You remember the Atari? Uh you your joystick would always mess up, so you'd take it apart and you would tape it. Because it'd break. The little plastic there would break. You ever have to do that? No. No, oh, man, you weren't a good, you weren't a rough gamer. I don't remember, I just remember that damn Atari 20, Atari 2600. Where you had to get a, some alcohol on the toothbrush and clean the, <laughs> clean the cartridge off on the bottom. Yeah, you blow on them, you stick yep. them back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yep, I remember uh, that. How about this? Let me see if you remember this. You remember that Turbo Graphics? No, I didn't remember that. That's like a damn Sega Genesis. Yeah, that was that was another you know kind of cool system that came out. It didn't last long, but you know, it come out. I think a lot of systems I never knew of. I guess I was too busy jumping curves on my bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get back in here. Who played the piano, man? You do. What, you want to play? No, I can't play no damn piano. Come on now. You're good at it. Put Stevie Wonder over there, though. He can play it. <laughs> <laughs> he played with his eyes closed. Kevin Barnett from Mount Holly, North Carolina. Love your show. Well, we're glad to have you, Kevin. Glad to have you. So I got I got uh, on this double phone here, this one. I have it on Facebook. What kind of phone is that, man? This? Yeah, what is that? This is a uh, an LG8 Thin Q. That's pretty cool. Dual screen. I'm an iPhone man, man. You know I can't. I gotta have number but the iPhone. Yeah, it's a dual screen. So uh, I'll show you. Here, let me, let me put. Let me do this. I'll put us on YouTube. And Facebook, right? Let me see if I can get it to sign in here. All right, anyway, it, it's trying to sign in. So, oh, well, we got something, Rob. We got something. Is that a screen on the front, too? No, this is just a blank thing. Uh, 
here. Let me go to my channel. And uh, hit the button. It's circulate. It's circling. So, get that damn thing slow. That's pretty neat, man. So we have Facebook on this side, YouTube on the other side. Oh, that's sweet. That just come out or something? Well, it's been out. I might check into that, man. I'm so if you're looking for freight, you can have two. You can have this. This. This is the phone. This pops out. See, this is just the case with an extra screen. Oh, damn. So this is the phone, right? Do it come with the case? Yeah. So when you pop the phone in the screen, then it'll turn on. And so you can, here, let me show you something. I'm to get that for us. Per. I will bring, uh, let's say I'll put Uber on there and some other app. Some other trucking app. I went and got this iPhone 11, 500 gigs. I think it's a piece of crap. So I got Uber on one side and Coyote on the other. Oh, that's pretty neat, man. It don't lag or nothing? No. Nope. No. Nope. Wow, that's pretty neat. Who does no, on with? They all work. Huh? AT&T? What? AT&T? Yeah. Yeah, it's AT&T. Okay, cool. Okay, that's who I'm with. Yeah, so James bought one because he's seen it. And uh, he goes, Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm going to try it. And he loves it now. I'm going to get one tomorrow. Watch what I'll tell you. Yeah, make sure you get it with the case. Make sure it comes with the case. Do a screen. Okay. okay. It's a GAX Thin Q LG. I'm going to get it tomorrow. So and they're like it. giving them away. And I sometimes they're like 10 bucks a month, but sometimes they give them away. And I got me a second second case on eBay for like 80 bucks. Oh, that's cool. Just in case this one breaks. But again, I'm, matter of fact, when I get off this live feed, I'm gonna, I might get on AT&T and get it. And look, it goes all the way around. Oh, that's sweet. You got screen on both sides? Oh, okay. Well, this is clear, and it'll show you like time and stuff. It's, just okay. a clear, it's not really a screen. And this is just the back. But when you open it up, you got the two screens. I got you. I got you. I I have it come tomorrow. See? Yeah, I have it come tomorrow. And this main screen, the main phone screen, you can split. So you could have three apps running at one time. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. My wife. Oh, I said, you just got a damn iPhone 11. Now you want another phone? <laughs> you still got the damn flip phone. What? <laughs> she, she, she don't want to upgrade. <laughs> so you got let, me that back to, let me get back to Facebooking. You got that Motorola flip, that flip screen. All right. So we're back on here. Kevin Barnett, what's going on on Facebook? All right. James says it's awesome. awesome. The Trucker Dean Show says, uh, inspirational to see business owners paying off trucks during this doom and gloom times. Yeah. Um, that was just by the grace of God. Pell Rider, what's up? Uh, I haven't seen Pell Rider in a long time. I yeah, man, look at him. I Pell Rider, him. all right. I was on the side of him one day, a couple of years ago. I was on uh, I-40 with him. Dennis says that you sound like a young man, and I should show you a bag phone. The first cell phone is probably about 20 pounds. I remember I had a bag phone. Oh, I, I had that, too. I still got one. I, got that big, old, I still got that big old phone like a damn walkie-talkie. You remember, you remember old Nextel? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he could never get some reception all the way across to Arizona with that thing. I don't feel young no more. Shit, I just hit 52. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Oh, Mike joined in. He's one of my buddies that watches the RV show with me. Uh, so, congratulations, Big Tex. That's an accomplishment. Hey, that's it. I, hey, listen to you, Jeff. I just went on and did it, man. You got the trailer paid for? Trailer paid for it, too. Man. Brand new trailer, 2020 utility. 2020, paid for. 
Paid for. Both paid for. Only thing I got is the insurance. Here's another guy that just paid off his stuff. Big face trucker. Big face. That's big money right there. Yeah, there's big money. See, big face would he'd join in, then I'd be I'd be honored with two two of the greats out there in trucking. Hey. It's a hard work and dedication, Jeff. Big text and big face. It's plenty of time I want to give up. Yeah, well, you can't give up, right? You told me not to. <laughs> I remember. Let me see if I remember right. I remember talking to you some years ago when I first talked to you. You were up on the northwest <laughs> trying to get a load for like four or five days. Yep. <laughs> I says, I says, let's go to the go to the big orange. You thought I was crazy. Yep. Hey, the big orange was good though. It was. It good. was good though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was. I got nothing to say bad about them. They served the purpose. Yes, they did, man. Right. They did. Then we started talking about being on offer, and that's what we did. I follow your lead. You got a paid off truck, paid off trailer, living life. You 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 beat the corona. I beat the corona too, baby. Man, I beat the corona too. So I'm, I'm doing good. I think I'm about buying a second truck, man. I'm thinking about it, but it's kind of hard, man, trying to find a driver. It's tough. Yeah, man. I, I think I'll just I'll probably just do my own thing, man. Just keep on doing what I'm doing. Why don't you just put on a contractor? I thought, no, nah, I really don't want to deal with that. Appreciate the linebacker. You, you could you could put on a contractor yeah well now with this oida insurance i gotta get rid of the oida bull oh yeah they they suck oh man i gotta get rid of the, next next year i'm gonna get rid of them i think i'm gonna go progressive or something well you know the part the problem with the oida is they want like nine years experience yep they only they have one out of three years yep right it's just, it's a joke. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm be gone. And they so charge if you, if you do the progressive route, I'll, you know, talk to me before, then I'll give you the ins and outs okay. of them. Okay. They'll let you grow. They're the only ones that really let you grow when you first start. But you gotta watch it, and I'll let you know. Okay. I wish well, I could find. Yeah. Somebody. I've been surfing, man. I just can't find nobody else, man. Yeah, it's hard to find people. Yeah, man, like, 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 why? And the insurance, man, it's about a joke. Uh, OIDA put that, that uh, trailer on my damn insurance as a claim when they brought it from me, my old trailer. They, they put it on my record. Boy, which messes you up. Yep, and messing me up, man. And it, it, then it went up on my insurance about $500 a month. Yeah. <laughs> they gave me $12,000 for the trailer. Hey, but they're, they're, they're for owner operators. Yeah, I can't tell, man. I, I wouldn't recommend my mama to them. They, you know, they want they want your subscription money because they're for you. They're for the owner operator. They suck, man. They insurance suck. I, when I first started with them, it was cool. Cause I was paying like seven hundred a month. Right, but I, if you need something, you got to watch out because their insurance company, I think, is in London or something. Man, it's overseas, ain't it? I don't know where that man. I, I just, it's just pathetic. I just I, I got to get rid of them. All right, Mike, thanks for stopping in. Um, sure, Big Face. Big Face wants to come play the piano. <laughs> That's what I say. I want to come play me and Stevie Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should see Big Face in one video, man, when he's uh, with that broker, and he got to eat. I thought he ain't eating in like a week. <laughs> That's what I feel like now. I'm going to get off this phone and, and, and finish preparing my dinner. I was out there polishing my wheels and on all my tires. Yeah, thanks, Overtax in Minnesota. Listen to him. Took me four hours to polish these wheels over here. Unbelievable. See, now everybody's making fun of me. I'm going to I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna have to go outside in the pole barn and do a video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, in the basement or something? 
I'm just sitting here talking to you. You in the basement? No, I'm in Texas. <laughs> I'm in Dallas. Uh, you ain't in no damn Dallas. Yeah. What you doing in Dallas? I'm right next door to your house. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, you might get can't you light. see me through all that all that surveillance you got out there? Yeah, I got a plenty of it too. I know. It, it comes all around that damn house. <laughs> you can't even broke. you can't even pick a blade of grass out of the lawn and you know it. I know it, man. It got seven cameras around that house. Everybody think I'm selling drugs out of there. All I'm doing is polishing wheels. <laughs> look look what Paul McFarland says. He was killing that corn. Oh, big face of tearing that corn up, man. What are you with a broker? Yeah. Yeah, the broker he's over at broker's house. I think it, it was and uh and I think the broker's already, uh made him made him dinner, right? They made him dinner. And old Big Face got a hold of some corn on the cob, man. Look out. It was it was on. He was on it, huh? Uh they want to know what kind of truck you have. It's a Western Star. 2017 Western Star. Don't, don't make me go out there and show it off, Jeff. Yeah, let's see it. Hold on, Rack. Show the chrome. I know you got chrome. James is going to love this. You know you, it. You're going to give James a heart attack. James, put, put your tongue back in your mouth, James. Because here comes the chrome, baby. I know you like chrome, Jamesy. Hold on. Hold on a steering wheel if you're in your truck, James. Because uh, old Big Tex get out there in this Western Star and show you the chrome. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go back to the searching of the load board. And I'm gonna put in here Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. And we're gonna see 504 loads out of Atlanta. And here you go, James. Here, wait. Let's let's just put you right on the right on the big screen. And that's the side. See what I got on the on, on the trailer back there, Jeff. See what you got. I put that toolbox on there. Oh yeah, nice toolbox. That between your skirt. Got that sign right there, Jill. Oh yeah. But well, that's that's the old western stuff. Look at that bumper. You can tell he's in Texas. <laughs> James wants to James wants to see that box again. Go back there, that big old box. The box on the trailer. Yeah. You see it? You need one of those boxes, James. Oh, yeah. Don't open it. We don't want to see what's in there. All right, tools in there. Tools and, tools and everything else in there. Extra power. That's the damn Petro. <laughs> hey, been out of damn Petro. Better than Louisiana. I thought, I thought James was giving his, uh, his cash app symbol up there for a second. <laughs> There you go, James. There's a cash app symbol for you. Well, I thought I got a big Steve next to me. Boy, he got a beard like Steve next to me. Does he? Yeah, I thought that was Steve for a minute. And then he got the same old truck, but it's a different color. Hey, check my new steering wheel out, Jeff. Oh, wow. I just put that in there yesterday. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. Nice steering wheel. Pretty sweet. My wife said you spend more money on that damn truck than you do me. I say you spend more money on Jeff than me. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> yeah, go on vacation. She's thinking about Jeff. Get him a <laughs> license plate. <laughs> hey, hey, it was a nice license plate. It's cool. Let's say, poor Jeff Cole. Where are you going to find a license plate like that? Where? Only in New York. 
you should have it on your on, on your wall back there. That's pretty cool license plate. I know I got it. I'll, I'll bring it inside. I'm about, I'm about to call myself Godfather if I can borrow it from you. Yeah. You want to borrow it? You better keep it shined up. <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna give me one. If I'm gonna find me one to take big ticks on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell my wife to buy you one that says big text on it. With Billy Bob next to it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it says? Probably gets better fuel mileage than my truck. Well, yeah, big Texas truck does get good fuel mileage. I get 9.2. It gets 92 miles a gallon. 9.2. <laughs> 92. Because <laughs> he's he always sitting in his driveway. Always. <laughs> 92 miles boy you'd be you'd be on fire right yes yeah, sir i get i just got up and actually i, I was doing 8.7 then i brought the uh that fleet air filter then it went up to 9.2 oh. Oh, it? yeah that damn thing was 500 for that damn air filter well it's worth the money if it gets you some mileage it is it is but the, but uh but uh, the factory is three hundred dollars, so and I replaced it twice. I said, "Shit, I'm buying a fleet filter. That's lifetime. You'll never have to change right. it. Just clean it." So that's what I've been doing, and I put that up. Uh, I put that up. Uh, if you only drive in a windstorm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, windstorm on his back just pushes him along. You got sales on that thing. And I put that all filter. Uh, the off filter bypass system on here too at OBS. OB, oh, OBS, like, OBS. I, I know you listen to Kevin Rutherford because you yeah. got all that stuff. That's yeah. I, the more you talk, <laughs> the more I know you listen to him. Yeah. Uh, you, you might even have that. What's that? Evans Evans cooling or something or whatever yeah. that stuff is. Hey Jeff, I'm gonna have to change my off for like seventy five to a hundred thousand miles. Don't tell me you got one of those turbo beta three thousands or something. I got that too. <laughs> Got the but, you box. but you don't have air tabs because he doesn't say air tabs no i don't like the air tab man Let make your truck look tacky man to me look look what james says obs that's it did you get you got one james best i want to bring my truck to like trucking what's your percentage i'm I'm my 15% now. It's 80 20. 80 20. But if he's at 85 15, it just depends what that 15 is because 85 15 could be worse than 60 40. Yeah, for damn sure. You know what I'm saying? Because it depends. Do they get charged weekly fees or, or you know, there's no fees here, right? Hey, if I if I wasn't if I had my own authority, I'd probably be over there. Oh, he said he wish he did. And I'd let you and I'd let you run that license plate too. Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> yeah. Hey Jane, bet it was like sixteen hundred dollars installed. That's the best sixteen hundred dollar I ever spent. James got money all over the place. He sixteen hundred, he'd get it tomorrow. God, there you go. Yeah, he'll go get it tomorrow. I'll be running like 75,000 miles before I change my off, but I send an off sample every 24 just to make sure my art is still good. I can still right. use it. So when they tell me to change my art, I'll change it. Blackstone. We have some loads out of Atlanta. Check this out. 352 a mile, 700 bucks, Alabama to Florida, Mariana. That's a good load because it's only going 199 miles, and Mariana's at the top. Uh, Fairborn, Georgia, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, 263, 246 a mile, North Carolina, Alabama, 1100 bucks. That ain't bad. 1825 to New York, 234. The prices are coming up, aren't they now? They trying to, man. You know, if we click on that, 234, that's 51 cents above the last two weeks. Hey, Jeff, I can run for 30 cents now. What? I can still I can run for thirty cents and make a profit. That's right, thirty cents. Right, you know you don't even know a dollar. Even thirty cents. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell nobody. Don't be I, transparent. I know you're right. I can run for thirty cents and make a hell of a profit. You don't want transparency at thirty cents. I know, man. Hey, uh, it was hard work, man. 
I had to convince mama to let me go ahead and pay it off. I just got tired of paying two thousand dollars a month. There you go. I still had to end of twenty twenty two to pay it off. No, I just, just want to get it over with. Now check this out. I'm out of Carlsbad, California, home of Thunder Funding. Willie the gang, look at this money. If if right if the dean was out there, Palm Valley, California to Frank Town, Colorado, thirty seven hundred bucks, three forty six a mile. Mm, what do you think of that? I think I'm gonna get up to California next week, man. That California rates, man, pretty good coming back to Texas. Yeah, 342 to Utah, 2200 bucks. 341 interstate California, 615 miles. California City, California, Eureka, California, 2100 bucks, 341. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to Phoenix next week, Tucson, then I'm going over to uh, Ontario and grab me a load back to Fort Worth. 274, Fontana to Phoenix, 900 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. It's hot as, hot as hell up there. It's 105 degrees up there in Tucson. Yeah. 206 back to Texas. Yeah, what I'm talking about. What's that one? It's uh, El Centro, California, Justin, Texas. 2550, 206 a mile. And it's 23 cents above the dollar 82. Woo. 206. Yeah, I got to get out to California. I'll probably leave out Monday. Gotta so go. they got some good stuff, you know, good stuff. I can probably just do that run just back and forth. And yeah. Probably do good. Boys, I want to go to Ontario, though. I don't want to go too far. EB, if you want to apply, go to. Uh... I hate that freight line to ruin it. Yeah, I just put in a set of injectors in this summer. God, man, called me $8,000. Go to liketrucking.com, click on the contractor page, click on the app, the uh, apply, the little computer screen, and boom, you apply right online. Phone, tablet, don't matter. It's all, it's all user friendly. So, yeah, we have a few openings. Uh, Can I come but, over? There? Yeah, come on over. Huh? <laughs> come on over, Big Tex. You know, I could, man. Shoot, you stay right where you're at. You you're doing all right. Yeah, hey, I had I had enough of that when I went to travel loco. I only stayed there like shit, probably about two weeks. Who do you who do you factor with? <laughs> Try him. <laughs> Thunder funded man, I love him. They pay you quick, didn't they? Yes, yeah, sir. I get paid sometime, man, the same day almost. Yeah. Lately, it's been like that through this COVID. You know, they're trying to help. They're trying to help the truckers out. Yeah, I love them, man. I ain't going nowhere. The other trucker, James Best, says, I need to head to bed. Got to supervise the wife tomorrow. Uh-oh. Oh, he's still at home. Yeah, he ain't doing nowhere. He's got two bottles of Knob Creek. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, well, shit. He at home chilling. Yeah. Yeah, he showed it in his feed. And he's, this weekend is going to be, I guess, it's going to be a Knob Creek battle. Well, the red nice. versus the regular. Must be nice. Yeah. I'm going to eat my french fry and my spicy chicken sandwich. James says thunder or bust. <laughs> What's up, Trucking OD Podcast? What's happening? So the money's there, right, Rob? I mean, the money's, it's its a lot better. Here, wait a minute. We got Big Face coming in. Big Face, I seen you. Look at his chilling at home. Look at him. He at home, too, ain't he? Yeah, he's playing the piano, Big Face is. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, Big Face? Yeah, I'm at home. I'm at home relaxing. Well, it must be nice. Nah, it's almost it's almost time for me to go out. I was at home for a month. I got bored. You got bored? Yeah, I had to come on out. I had to come out and do something, man. See, see what happens when you yeah. see big face. You got to look at big text. You both got big in the front of your name, right? 
but he's afterwards. His, his starts with a T. So Tex, he's out there running, making money, and you're just sitting back home, <laughs> dreaming about that corner in the cob. I know what you're dreaming about. Yeah, I'm at the petrol pump. <laughs> Bring your truck up, bro. I'll polish the wheels on it. Come on. Come on. He's at the petrol right by your house, big face. He'll polish your wheels. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got a nice buffer in that nice tool cabinet. It does wear that too. Yeah, see, I know what's in there. Yeah, yeah. but I keep my buffer in there, man. So, so what do you think about that big face? Big Texas wife are on vacation up in New York, and his wife buys me a Godfather license plate. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Where's it at? Yeah, where is that? Let me go get it. Go get it. Nah, relax, man. Relax. Yeah. We'll, catch, we'll, we'll catch it next time. Next live feed. I'll have it right here. It, sit, okay. it sits right above my tool. If any, any truck that comes in and gets signed on, they, they'll tell you it's there. It's right above my toolbox, hanging oh. there, all polished up. Oh, it's in the barn. It's the best place for it. Oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was in the garage. You went way out there on the other side. Of, on that that is the garage. Oh, damn. Must be nice living at that that on eighty acres. Yeah, that is. It's all back there in the garage. Nobody can mess with it. Oh, it must be nice living in big New York. Place. Godfather. I'm Give it to me. About polishing my wheels. Look, he's gonna come polish your wheels, Big Tex. <laughs> hey, they already polished for, for it'll last me a couple of months. Just don't let him rebuild the motor. <laughs> you might be in trouble. Yeah, I'm about to get mine rebuilt. I only got like 600,000 miles on it. I'll probably rebuild it when it get to 1.2. Big, big Face can only uh, rebuild Beamers. That's big money. Yeah. Big life. He was, he's rebuilding one right now. Oh, you work on cars, huh? In his spare time. Yeah. I, I work on big trucks. I try to leave the little cars alone. The Italian Stallion said he needs to get skirts. Yeah. That sounds pretty um, personal there, Italian <laughs> Stallion. <laughs> yeah, the dude's not personal, nah. don't it? <laughs> you know, you can get those skirts put on for about a thousand bucks, eleven hundred bucks for a pair of skirts. I paid seventeen for mine. Well, Talk yeah, but we seen own. what you had. We seen what you had. You had like that stealth look going. <laughs> Yeah, my trailer came with him. He, he, hey, Big Face, he's got Kevlar skirts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's big money, huh? Yeah, he's got money. Look, he's he's offline, man. He, he had to go use the trucker bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what's so going that, on? Oh, not much, man. We just... Uh, I just been doing some things and uh, working around, you know, getting some stuff done, uh, going through that uh, file program, right, to get another driver signed on. Oh, okay. Driver files, and yeah, uh, I just got finished doing my biannual. Yeah, and I, I've been doing all that stuff with the uh, permits and all that stuff, and I got all these different ELDs that we're, you know, messing around with, so. Uh, which one you gonna take? I mean, which one you gonna use? Well, I'm I'm leaving Teletrack for sure. It's a uh, good ELD. It's it's been good for three years. It's going on three years there. You know, come beginning of next year. Uh -huh. But the install and uninstall is too labor intensive. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sam Sar is working out really well. I got to give it to him. There hasn't been a flaw yet. And there's some uh, things in there that I like that you can do that you can't do on some other ones. Uh, that's a bonus. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you about it, you know. Yeah. Some other time. And, uh, and the cameras are nice. The dash cams are really nice. So what's the cost on them? Uh, they give the equipment for free right now. Really? They give you a 30-day free trial. Uh-huh. 
And then if you just want the ELD itself, it's like 30, just over 30 bucks a month. Okay. And if you pay, it's a three-year program, right? So if you pay all three years at one time, they give you a big, a bigger discount. If you pay uh, yearly, it's a bigger discount. And if you pay monthly, if you don't want the, if you want the dash cam, it's around 30, just over 30 bucks. With the dash cam, it's going to be somewhere about 60 or 62. It's kind of like uh, keep trucking prices, right? Okay. When you do those. But uh, their app and everything is really, really nice. And it comes, you know, it comes with a hot spot. So you can just use a tablet with no internet and it works. Uh, Rich is using it right now. The Italian stallion. He can tell you how it works. Right, right. there he is. They must have been in Little Italy, he says. Um, Dennis Bowman says, oh, don't get James Best started on Triumph Capital. And, and uh, OTJB says, Triumph ain't it. <laughs> Triumph. We'll take big text off the screen. He's he's out of there. Just me and you now, Gordon. Nobody else wants to come in here. I know James is going to call in. Well, the call in is just click in, right? Yeah, click in. Right That's there, cool. click in. Anybody wants to join us? Two, three, four, five. We're out of here in 10 more minutes because I got things to do, man. I got pizza to eat. <laughs> I had pizza for dinner. We, you know, we had bunch of people had pizza so there's a bunch of leftovers i you know doing this video making me hungry yeah i gotta eat me something in a minute i don't know i might go for a ride somewhere here i'll put this ticker back on here remember this one big face trucker paid off as a buy truck <laughs> i'll put that back on there for you who paid off the SFI truck scene with the new W9. Yeah. So I can put in all these discount codes, right? Truck and office. That's a great program. I love that program. Yeah. <coughs> but here, here's the big people. You call Willie or Scott, and they'll help you out. Thunder funding, right? That's right. And then you can over at one two three load board. Give everybody this this board for only thirty five bucks premium, premium plus. What are you chugging on over there? Um, water, lemonade, and lime. All right. Oh wait a minute, Big Tech's trying to come back in. Here he is. Can't hear him. Can you hear him? No, I can't hear him. Big Tex. No, his phone must have messed up. Try it again. He's got no sound. No sound. <clears throat> yeah, he must be on that cricket. He must be on that cricket network. <laughs> he, you don't hear him, man. It's like a cricket. Can't hear him. Uh, out and come back in. How's the weather up there, man? Weather's not bad. It was oh, it's been muggy, eighty degrees and muggy. But now it's going to get in the sixties and low in the forties. In June next week's supposed to be sixties and forties. <laughs> hey, you don't need air conditioning. Good trucking weather. Yeah. Keep the night with the truck off. Don't you have to run the APU. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting on my refrigerator to come. It was supposed to come today. I got a new mattress coming. Yeah, Eddie was up here in Michigan last night. Didn't even stop by to say hi. John Armstrong, he can't read lips. Um, of course, he, Eddie only slept three hours because he probably didn't run his truck. Man, you can't sleep in that muggy. You gotta, you know, you gotta put the AC on, man. 
These trucks are like sweat boxes. That's right. You dehydrate real quick. Look at this. He says that the Samsara is works flawless. Flawless. Oh yeah. Another congratulations for you. It depends, Philip. Depends on that. Which trailer for is her best? Wooden or aluminum? Wooden. <laughs> Wooden. All right, big face. What do you say? I got to get out of here. Or I go five more minutes, 8.30. Yeah. I go to 8.30. We just relax. Just kick yeah. it back. <laughs> Look at you. So that's that's the freight. Um, we got some good stuff out of California. A place I will not go. Look at that. And a lot of stuff out of Atlanta, too. Atlanta's not bad. Here's Atlanta. Two sixty four, Georgia's of Mariana, Florida. Six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks, Alabama, Mariana, Florida, three fifty two a mile. Two forty six. Look, it's two thirty four back up to New York. Eighteen and a quarter. Yeah. You heard the uh the, the tolls are going up up there, right? Yeah. yeah they always want to go up. And the and the loads stay the same. Not gonna happen. I'm not going up that way. There's a density, man. All right, man. I got to get out of here. I got to go outside and, and check the pool. Uh, All right, water running in it. You hold it down. All right, man. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for joining in. And uh, peace out, everybody. Let's rock. Let's rock and roll.